Today, I would like to talk about purchasing or selling a manufactured home. In our area here in Southern Indiana, there's a lot of manufactured housing, which it's good housing. Uh, it's become more and more popular uh, over the time with a lack of supply of traditional stick built homes. And just some of the things uh, for you guys out there, if you're uh, maybe you own a manufactured house and you're thinking about remodeling it and possibly selling it, there's a few things that you need to know. Uh, one is if you're going to replace the siding on a manufactured home, do not, do not lose the HUD tag that's on the rear of the home. It'll be a little brass tag or stamp that'll be on the vinyl siding. A lot of times I see people remodel these homes. They get rid of the siding. They throw it all in the dumpster and with the HUD tag, it goes in the dumpster as well. And that is so important when you go to sell it. We got to have that HUD tag uh, for the tiling issues and for the sale of the home. Without that, it's, it's a long process to get that number back. There's also some information plates a lot of times inside the owner suite bathroom. It'll be sometimes on a cabinet door. It could be on a closet door, but it'll basically be a map and it gives information about the uh, build specs of that manufactured home, uh, you know, what area they're insulated for, that sort of thing. That's another uh, piece of information so uh, that we need to be able to sell your home. And so I won't go into all the details, but, uh, when, if you was to remove those cabinets, you could possibly get rid of that, that, that sticker or that form that is uh, stuck or adhesed to the back of your cabinet doors. So unless you want to, you know, if you're going to remodel the cabinets and get rid of that, plan on making a trip underneath the house and looking for a uh, VIN number. Uh, hopefully the tongue is still there so we can get it. Uh, but without those tags, it, it holds us up sometimes a month or two months just trying to get the information we need to be able to resell uh, your manufactured housing. On the buyer's side, there's some things that you need to know as well. So if you're going out and looking for one of these homes, um, you want to make sure those tags are on the house. Have your agent look for those. Maybe you have your agent ask the listing agent if, if she's got that information. Uh, another thing you'll have to do, no matter really what kind of financing uh, you're doing a, on a manufactured home, uh, you'll need a, a engineering uh, inspection. Basically, the engineer gets underneath uh, the manufactured house, make sure it's got the right pillars in the right spots. Uh, they're also going to look like, look for uh, the tie downs underneath these homes to keep them from blowing away during a tornado. Uh, so these are things that will probably cost you for an engineer's report, $300, $400 for an engineer, structural engineer to come in and take a look at it and just make sure the home was placed right and set up. A lot of times we'll find that these homes, uh, you know, they're put on concrete block pillars. Uh, sometimes there'll be a slab underneath that, sometimes not. But when they set these homes, they'll go in and set their blocks, they'll set the home down, and sometimes there's a little space in between the top of the block and the frame of the home, and they'll use wood shims and drive in there and make that tight where it's sitting on the home. So over time, three, four years, this home could settle, uh, and the structural may, engineer may go under it and see that there's a gap in between those shims. That's pretty common. You gotta have a contractor to come out and reshim it, make sure everything's good and tight. So just a couple extra things to think about when you're dealing with manufactured housing. Um, it's not exactly like stick built. There's just different procedures in, in buying and selling these. So if you'd like more information on manufactured housing, we would love to sit down and talk with you about the pros and cons of it. And for more local real estate information, please like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.